Hello, YouTubers. It's Big Baby SLD, and I am back again. Well, I've been gone for the whole month of July. It's just been too damn hot to been going out and buying comic books. So, uh, I just hit my favorite store today. Uh, and I got some uh, random pickups. A couple of them uh, I got off of eBay, which I haven't shopped on eBay in like a year. But I said, what the hell? Here's my first one. Uh, I had this comic book when I was a kid. Don't know what happened to it. It's not a key issue or nothing, but I always enjoyed it. Uh, DC Comics Presents, number 58, Superman Robin, the elongated man. Uh, what if the Phoenix had not died? Uh, issue 32. Here's the follow up. What if Phoenix rose again? Excellent condition. Here's one I picked up. I think I had this years ago. Uh, that's another one I might have lost. Firestorm number one. Really don't have any Firestorm comic books. Years ago, I, I might have had a few. I wasn't a big collector of Firestorm. But usually I see a number one, I usually don't pass them up. Here we have uh, two annuals. Firestorm annual number one. And Firestorm annual number two. Amazing Spider-Man 140. One fifty-six. Not key books or anything, but I am a uh, I'm the biggest fan of Spider-Man. So I don't see too many people showing off their Superman, so here's uh Superman 343. I don't know, I picked it up. Back in these days it was this late seventies, early eighties maybe. Uh forty cent cover price. I always found Superman to be a bit corny back then. But uh I picked it up anyway. Can't go wrong when you buy a number one superhero. And we have uh, Superman issue 363. There's a Brave and the Bold. Number 149. Batman and the Teen Titans. You see this the original four. Wonder Girl, Kid Flash, Speedy, and Robin. Batman and Dr. Fate, issue 156. Action Comics, annual number three. I actually like the artwork inside this book, it's excellent. Everyone knows I'm a Teen Titans fan. It's Teen Titans number 10. Peter Parker, The Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, excuse me, uh, number 12. Uh, 
pick up some Iron Man books. Let me dig these out. Uh, issue 49. Issue 67. Issue 70. Issue 82. Issue 83. And 113. Once again, uh, to my reprints, Fantasy Masterpieces, issue number eight, reprints starring the Silver Surfer. Issue 11. Issue 12. Issue 13. And Fantasy Masterpiece number 14. Can I go wrong with Spidey on the cover? Here's one of my eBay bars, uh, Avengers number 110, Magneto and the X-Men. Here's a Batman, Detective Comics actually, 511. It's Batman 375. And this I am still collecting. I haven't finished yet. I should have finished by now. But All-Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder. I'm collecting these with the variant covers. Here's uh, issue 4A uh, variant cover. Batman and uh, Robin the Boy Wonder. And issue 5. Love that cover right there. These two were eBay buys. Green Lantern 146, this I needed. Incredible Hulk, annual number 11. Fantastic Four 201. This here I picked up, I saw it, don't know why I picked it up. The Man from Atlantis. Evidently number one. Evidently it was a short-lived television series. I looked in the back, they even have pictures. And Patrick Duffy, if you remember Bobby from Dallas, played The Man from Atlantis. Evidently it was a short-lived series, I never even heard of it. But uh, thank goodness for Patrick, Dallas came along. So, but I picked it up anyway. I didn't even skim through it yet. But I'll check it out. And last but not least, uh, you know, I got to pick up one paperback graphic novel. Uh, Marvel's Greatest Super Battles. Uh, if you run across this book, I highly suggest you skip it. Because these are not Marvel's Greatest Super Battles. But... You know, if you buy it, I'm telling you now, I warned you. Stay away from Marvel's greatest super battles. So, it was in the cheap box. I picked it up. If you like, if you feel like wasting four or five bucks, then by all means buy it. But, all right, YouTubers, this is Big Baby SLD. 
and uh, I'll get back to you again as soon as possible. Big Baby SLD, and I am out.